Hi you guys, so this is just an alternative for a cannulation OSCE. Um, as you can see, I've um, prepared a sterile field to lay my equipment out, but this time the equipment's in a slightly different order to my previous video. I'm gonna go with that single-use Venus tourniquet first, then the alcohol swab, then my gloves, then a cannula, uh, gauze, the fix or tegaderm, and then my flush. So I'm just going to get everything open and ready to uh, go for this because I know I'm going to do my OSCE. So just get my alcohol swab open, just get my cannula open. Um, I always like to loosen the white cap. Some people put it on the top port there, that's fine rid of that and just my fixer so lay that down don't forget about putting the date um, on there so, 22. okay so there's all my equipment ready to go now let's have a look at this oh, so we're just going to bring this in here make sure you've got all your equipment ready so get your sharps to container nice and close get your arm ready make sure you've got some sanitizer to clean your hands and on this occasion i'm going to use uh, this doll for um, clinical waste now my hands are clean allow that to dry we can have a little fill and i'm going to go for this vein up on the inside of the forearm area there so i'm quite happy with that so now i found uh, a good idea of where my vein is once again arterial tourniquet about 10 centimeters above where i'm going to cannulate make sure i can get two hands underneath it and uh, this is going to be my last fill now so that's where i'm going to cannulate uh, then going to take my alcohol swab out single white domestic waste now what some people do is they leave this as an arrow pointing towards where they're going to cannulate obviously allowing that to dry make sure it doesn't actually touch it at this stage i'm going to put my gloves on so once i've got my gloves on again i don't want that tourniquet on for more than 60 seconds um, my cannula is ready to go so i've got my cannula this is now dry and i'm going to go straight into that vein there where we looked at and we can see we've got our first bit of flashback which is great which is exactly what we're looking for um, i'm just going to get rid of that out the way um, now's the important bit where I hold the actual metal nice and still and I'm going to advance the cannula as I advance it I've got my second flashback coming up the, here now and as that comes up I carry on advancing the cannula all the way until it touches the skin and as you can see I've held the needle still at all times this is the stage when the tourniquet should come off so we take that off now I'm going to get my gauze and place that underneath the cannula to mop up any mess I make I'm going to occlude the end of the vein hold the cannula still I'm aware my white cap is there as I withdraw straight into sharps white cap and that stops any flow um, now I've done that I can mop up and clean any mess my gloves come off and this would go into domestic waste I could now clean my hands again if I was worried that there was still any bodily fluids around I could put on a second pair of gloves if I wanted to protect myself but if I'm happy that this is nice and clean I'm now going to put my fixer on so with this particular fixer it's got the two strips which will hold the wings down just close that port off so these will hold the wings down here these always go parallel to the cannula and we don't cross so that we can still see where the cannula is enter into the vein lots of numbers on these ones so if we follow this through um there was me doing it wrong already take number one off first place that over the top stick that down we can then lift that up to do number two and stick that all down neatly we've then got um, number three and four and once that's all stuck down we can now peel this from the top and peel that away 
so that's all held you can see nicely there where the cannula enters into the skin i'm now going to get my flush and that will go into the port at the top and on these mannequins just a little flush enough to clear the port there is more than enough we know that that's nice and patent there and that cannula is in and good next thing i'm going to do now is set up my fluids so i've got my fluids here so i'm just going to move some of this stuff out of the way so we're going to check our fluids so we're always going to check the actual content make sure it's the right drug looking for any kind of precipitation any uh, bits in the fluid that shouldn't be there and check our expiry date i'm then going to do the same with my giving set so we check everything check the integrity of the packaging check the date uh, and it's the right equipment i'm then going to open this up and I'm going to leave this on its own sterile field. Uh, I'm going to make sure I lock off this wheel. I need to roll this down a bit and I lock that wheel off completely. I'm now going to pop some gloves on so that I can remove the sheath from the sharp and then the sharp can go straight into the uh, outlet port. So my wheel's locked off, there's my port, the sheath comes off straight in the port, again being a key sight we don't want to touch anything there. Um, I'm now going to hang this up and gently just squeeze the bottom chamber twice and the gentler we do it the less likely we are to get any bubbles into that. So twice, maybe three times but that looks enough for me, let it settle. I'm now going to slowly start to undo the wheel. As you can see I I like to keep everything wrapped up it's already started to flow which is good no bubbles in there just let that keep coming up I'm just watching it I can see the fluid rising up coming up there just keep doing it gently and that's perfect as it comes all the way up to the top there it comes around the back of the wheel just make sure there's no bubbles at all so we just watch it creep up and up and up the slower we do this the better but if we want to use a little bit of gravity to help us we can take all of this out just don't let the end touch the ground again holding that up so just nice and gently watching our fluid just flow all the way so it's round about here now here it comes little bit Once we get the fluid to the end, um, it shouldn't drip because it's got a non-drip cap on it. Um, I can lock this off on here. Let's just double check up this end for any bubbles and down this end. If I had got any bubbles, what I can do is stretch it, flick it with my thumb um, so the air bubbles go up to the top there. So now what I'm going to do is get a new piece of gauze, place that underneath my white cap and what's going to happen now is um, I'm going to occlude the end of the cannula and then my fluids are going to connect onto the cannula. So occluding the cannula and as I take the white cap off we may start to leak so we just pop that on there and again any mess we've made our gloves will come off domestic waste clean our hands and we're good to go i'm now going to secure this in place and i'm just going to put the giving set um, around the thumb on this occasion and up the arm and i'm just going to use a short length of tape just to hold that lightly in place so we just take a little bit of tape so i'm just going to place one about there so we've got that going up so it's just gentle here i might want to put another piece down here just to hold it uh, and maybe even one more up the arm so it doesn't move 
Um, ideally, the fluids would be held up in uh, on a stand and we can then set the drip rate. But on this mannequin, I'm not going to release the wheel. So that would now be the end of my OSCE. I would then leave everything as it is, tidy up um, any of my waste uh, and make it all uh, in the right um, bins and bits and pieces. Uh, the assessor would then come and check, check the patency of my cannula, maybe with a flush to make sure it is actually in the vein. Uh, and they would check the whole of the given set for any bubbles. So hopefully that has helped give you a bit of an indication of uh, what you're going to have to do in your OSCE. That's how we'd like to uh, see it done. Excellent.